pull? Can I get a high five? Can I get a kiss? 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 <laughs> Good girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back here with a video and like I said, um, I'm now starting my training season. So today's video is going to be all about how I taught Poppy how to heal. So if you want to find out how I taught my dog how to heal and how you can teach your dog how to heal, stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. And over four weeks, I will be uploading on the days I do upload a behaviour that I taught my dog and how I've done it step by step. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So a little bit of backstory is... um. When I first started training Poppy to heal, she was eight months, and I did this as a school project or a college project, and I had to produce a training video. So that is what I'll be showing you guys. So sorry about the quality; I wasn't that good of a filmer then. So I started off by using clicker training with her because I never used clicker training before. I introduced her to the clicker, but I never really used clicker training. So I thought I'd give it a go for this specific. Um, behavior that I wanted to teach her but as I found out she didn't really respond to the clicker but as this was a college project I had to continue doing that um, training method I had to carry on using a clicker so that is what I'm doing like in this video I am using a clicker and I know obviously in one of my last videos I spoke about her not responding to the clicker so I tend to use a luring method and other training methods so yeah so after that i did use start using luring instead of clicker so my step one is to sit your dog in front of you and lure her around so i use a treat lure and I lured her into position and when she was in that position I clicked the chick clicker and rewarded her with the treat. So I did this for a few sessions. As you can see I also did this in my next session. Um, it was only really my third session where I started or my second session where I started um, not using the treat lure so much as she was picking it up. But first off she wasn't really picking it up. Do step one up until you feel that your dog has achieved that step, which should be when she'll be ready, you think your dog will be ready to introduce the cue. So what I did as my step two was I introduced the cue to Poppy. So I would, as I was luring her round, I would say heel. Um, and then yeah. click and reward when she's in that position and I'll do it again, heel. And when she got in the position, click and reward. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so that was what I did for my step two um, yeah. and again do this until she picks up the cue and if you still find it hard then take it a step back um, back a step and go back to step one where you're not introducing the cue yet and then when you feel like she's ready then go to step two where you're introducing the cue and start off when you're introducing the cue with a treat lure and then you could use a hand lure and then use a prompt so my step three was that I then started to take the handler and the treat lure away and just use a prompt so as you can see in Poppy the heel. video I literally just was like Poppy heel Girl. and just gave her a little hand movement um, and then when she was in the position <clears throat> um, to heal I then heel. clicked the clicker and rewarded her and that's what I kept doing for a few sessions um, my next step, as you can see in this video, um, was I had to introduce another cue to her, which was close. So um, my step four was introducing a new cue, or another cue, because um, as trainers, well I'm not a qualified trainer, but as I was training my dog, I even make mistakes. So I... She associated heel with going round my legs and sitting in the position of the heel. She didn't walk to heel, so she didn't walk in that position. So I had to figure out another way that I could get her to walk to heel. 
So that meant that I had to do a little bit more research and I then found out that I had to introduce another cue to her. Um, so I decided to use the cue close. So this meant that I would ask her to heal so she would get in the heel position which I had practiced with her. And then after that I would then hold and use a treat to her because obviously I'm introducing a new cue to her. So she's going to have to be like back to the basics with that cue. So then I lured her into the position and then said close, clicked and treated. And so yeah, I did that a few times and then she was ready. I felt that she was ready to go outside, which you will see in the next clip, which brings me on to my step five, which was up in the distractions. So she's gone from being in a room where it's just me and her to then being outside with a load of different smells. Yes, she still was in, um, out in the open, so she wasn't uh, mixing with other dogs or there wasn't really any other people around. But there was birds in my garden, there was obviously different sounds, um, different smells. So I had to keep her interested in me. So I then went back to using a handler when it was in that position just to give her that extra support because I felt like I'm up in like my training with her I'm increasing the distractions and making it harder so I've got to give her something to keep her interested and so with this as you can see I'm sitting in front of me I'm then asking her to heal and then I'm saying close clicking and rewarding so that so in this clip um, I upped the distractions again, so my step six was to increase the distractions by taking her out into the open. So I took her over my field on the long lead. So because obviously she's still, she's gone from being confined to being open, I needed to go back to the basics again and use a lead to try and keep her interested and make sure she didn't run off. So I used a long lead, um, which you can pick up from anywhere, and I used that just to keep control of her so I could bring her to me if um, if she wasn't responding. So I obviously still used a little bit more encouragement, so instead of just going poppy hill, I was going, come on, what's this, what's this? I held some treats to make it interested in me, so it focused her attention on me, and as you can tell... Um, the first bit of the video didn't really go to plan, she wasn't really paying attention, but then I soon got her listening to me and all I did was ask her to heal, clicked, um, rewarded, and then I gave her the next cue, and which was close, and made her walk close beside me. So my step six was increasing the distractions to going out into an open area, but still attached to a lead. Um, so, so my step seven was to limit how much um support i was giving her so as you can tell um i did a couple more sessions um just obviously using as much prompt as i can give her and like a lure and stuff obviously because i was building up the distractions and i wanted to make sure she was picking it up and that she was responding to me before upping the level so when i felt like i was ready to um take some of the support away I then decided to just use a little bit of a prompt when she was struggling so I'd ask her to heal and if she didn't then I would give her a little prompt but as obviously the cue close was still fairly new to her I decided I was still going to give a little bit more support with that when I was asking to do that so my step seven was removing support so that's what I would advise you to do when you've reached that level is just to remove some of that support to get your dog listening to you properly because you hopefully want to reach a stage where you're not giving any support you're just asking for the cue and they're doing it straight away so this is where this video ended well what I produced for my college ended um and with that she didn't she didn't hadn't learned the behavior 100% so after that I did carry on working with her but I didn't film it because I couldn't really get it on film 
um because i was more focusing on achieving the paper that i wanted than filming it so sorry i am just gonna have to explain it to you guys um but i will um obviously get my dog up here and i will show you the end result of her now so my step eight was to carry on i still carried on on the long lead for quite some time um but i just took away the prompt so i got her so my step eight was just taking away the prompt fully and um she then started responding to me quite well with that and then my so step nine was i took her off the lead so she was free and i used a lot more encouragement so I would say Poppy heel and if she didn't I'd be like Poppy and then I'd bring her over and I'd be really excited and I'd be like what's this Poppy Hill? Um, so I'd done that as my step 9 so I took her off the lead but I did use a lot more encouragement and I used a tastier treat so I used before I think I was using Sprats which at the start really did upset her tummy and then I moved her to ham but then she really loved chicken, so I brought her to chicken. Um, and that's what I use when she was off the lead because it's tasty and she asked noticed she'd come back to me sooner. Um so yeah, she was really picking up on that, which then led me on to my last step, which was step 10, which was taking away all encouragement and asking her to heal. So I stayed in step nine for quite a while giving her a lot of encouragement, rewarding her every single time. But then step 10, I started to not, I didn't prompt her at all. And I limited the treats to be in what like every other time instead of all the time. And um, yeah, so that was my step 10. Um, and I'm going to now show you a clip of her training now and how this behaviour is displayed now. Bobby Hill. Close. Sit. Good girl. So guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't um, forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below. Um, and I hope it gave you some ideas on how you can train your dog out to heal and some techniques and how I hope you just found it interesting on how I trained my dog out to heal and yeah so it's a bye and see you soon from me and Poppy here um so yeah so please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more of me and Poppy Mostly Poppy because I am using her to train, so yeah, hey. <laughs> so say bye. Bye. <laughs>